This is just a little tutorial to show you how to insert a hyperlink into a PowerPoint presentation. A hyperlink is a link to another file, to another program, to a website, uh, wherever you want to go. The way that you do that is you simply bring your slide up and there's two different ways. The first way, down at the bottom on your drawing bar, you can click on Auto Shapes, Action Buttons, and I typically pick the blank square. Once you've done that, you go over to the slide and you draw a box around wherever you want that link to be on the slide. When I let go and the box is done, I go up to hyperlink, I click on that, and you'll notice in the drop down box here, it's going to let you link anywhere in this program to any slide. Secondly, to a URL, to another PowerPoint presentation, to another file. Now this first one, I'm going to link it to a URL and I could go to the website I want, copy the address out of the address bar and paste it in here or I can just type it in and I'm going to go to www.glenco.com. When I hit OK, you'll notice now in the hyperlink to I have that address, I hit OK to that dialog box and now my hyperlink is inserted. Now one of the things, I don't want this blue box here on my screen so down on my drawing bar I can go to the fill color click on the arrow and simply put no fill and you'll notice the hyperlink is still there but there's no color to it. So now when I go to slideshow and I click where I put my hyperlink you're going to notice right from this slide without having to go anywhere else I'm at glencoe.com. Now I X out of that I'm going to end my show I'm going to show you another example I'm going to go back to auto shapes action buttons I pick the square this time I'm going to draw the box around Welcome Teachers. It can be as big or little as I want. It can be the whole slide. This time I'm going to hyperlink to another program. I'm going to hyperlink to a movie file I did. Um, it can be a program if you want, but you'll notice here I'm going to hyperlink it to this Biology Virtual Lab. So I highlight that. I hit OK. And you'll notice my directions or my link to that document is there. I hit OK again. Again, I don't want the blue box, so I'm going to go down here to fill color again and hit no fill. And when I go to slideshow this time and click on welcome teachers, you'll notice here is my biology virtual lab and I can play that now. And it'll actually take me through each step of that, of that um, movie file that I have. Now there's one other way to do a hyperlink. You can simply go to an object on the slide like this biology leads the way. You can right click on it and when you right click you'll notice on this menu at the bottom is hyperlink. If I click on that I can go to an existing file or a web page, a paste in this document. Um, under my documents I've just saved it. Let me pick another movie file here. Um, oh the frog dissection. This is a actually something we have for purchase that's at a reasonable price. When I hit OK, I've now put a hyperlink in here. So when I go to slideshow again, and I go up this time and click on Biology Leads the Way, this is an ancillary. We have three of these, the frog, the earthworm, and the human body. So if I minimize this and hit play, But that file is linked directly to my PowerPoint. And from that I escape, and so now I've got three different ways to do it. If I want to get rid of the hyperlink, the one I inserted, I simply right click on it and right down at the bottom I can remove it or edit it. I'm going to remove it. If I've done the action box, I simply click on it, I right click, and I hit cut or I can go up and just click on delete, but that gets rid of the hyperlink, so there's no hyperlink there anymore. Okay. When you're on the slide, you'll notice when I go to slideshow, I still have my link here. When I put my hand, when I put my cursor there, the, the hand actually comes up to show you this is where the hyperlink is at, and actually it labels the hyperlink. This is just a brief tutorial. I hope it helps you. It just makes your presentation a little smoother when you want to go from your PowerPoint to something else, but you're going to come back into it. You could even start another program up, um, whatever you want to do with it. So I hope this is helpful. Have fun with it.